So this is kind of a fun little adventure. See this big pine log right back here. I got called to come pick it up. It's actually too big to go to the mill. So a neighbor of mine called. Um, this is his brother with the log truck. They're hauling out this hardwood, but they got this one pine that's too big for the mill. So I'm gonna try to get it home and actually saw it out as siding for my neighbor. And in trade, he's got a white oak log, he says. He's got a white oak log that he's gonna give me as payment for sawing out the siding for him. So we shall see, but if I would make you this little, little intro teaser or whatever, um, this is where it all started. These guys are clearing a, a pipeline easement. So they come through and they log out the pipeline easement for what it's worth, and then they'll come out and they'll come back through, they'll grab out all the stumps and everything and then start digging. So try to get as much as they can out of it, you know? We just got home with this monster. I say monster, whatever. Um, I've had ones close to this big. 24 inches on the little end. And on the big end, 30. 30 inches. Kenzie, stand beside that log. See how big it is. Look at that. It's a little cheat. It is up off the floor a couple inches, but yeah. 30 inches inside the bark, actually. I measured right in here where the bark is chipped off. And actually, I hadn't measured the length. It's a 16-foot trailer. So this is gonna be yeah, it's over 12 feet. But it's gonna be horrendous for me to try to handle this thing as one piece. So I'm gonna have to talk to the guy that wants it sawed out and see if he'd be okay with me cutting it as a, cutting it in half or something. Cause this is, I mean, it's just, which right now it's green. I have no idea how much this thing weighs, but they're extremely heavy green cause they're full of sap, obviously. 14, it's 176 inches. So that's um, 175, basically 14 and a half, 14 foot seven. So if I can cut it basically in half and give him seven foot pieces, um, Otherwise, maybe eight and six. I'll have to try to take it up. Well, hold on a second. Let me double check this. Because I'm assuming he wants it for siding, so he's probably going to want some increment that is 16 inches. Shoot, to turn loose. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to walk back and forth on the trailer, tripping over my straps and my tape measure. Come on, Fat Max. Oh, got the Fat Max so you can reach way out with it. Let's see here. Oh, 176 would be a perfect, 176 would be a 16 inch increment. So that won't work. Hmm. 160 is the next closest. Well, by the time you take out slop, if I just split it in half, if I just split it in half, basically at 160 inches, that would be 10 16 foot sections. So by the time you cut it in half, you cut some splits, some butts off the end, that's probably about right. So he could cover, yeah, 160 inches of wall. But I mean, this is a massive log. If he wants this thing sawed out into half or, you know, uh, five eighths inch thick siding, there's a lot of it in there. But anyway, rambling, got it home, I hope. I hope Rita can pull this thing off the track or off the trailer. I had it set up on this pipe for that reason, so I can at least get a chain around the end. The pipe can't roll. It'll roll back a foot and then hit the frame of the trailer there and stop. But maybe if it's just that single point of contact, maybe it'll drag across it. But I don't know. Look at this thing just oozing. Look at all the sap coming out of that. Just oozing out sap. It's crazy. This thing's going to have to come off the trailer. And it's gonna have to sit in time out for a couple of months anyway. Just lay on the ground, because 
there's no way there's no way Rita's gonna carry it even as a even as a half Rita won't carry it so I'll have to get it out there at least close to the mill somewhere and if Rita can't pick it up maybe I can chain it off and chain like chain the back end to Rita and just yank the other end of it out of my truck it's not ideal but I don't know we'll figure something out of course Rosie's across the road and I really don't want to leave it on the trailer until I get Rosie home and Rosie broke down so who knows all right enough rambling I got a big log I got to try to figure out somewhere to deal with the thing There you go. <laughs> Got a little tippy on me at first. Tractor was wanting to wanting to lean over to the right a little bit, but the way I have to pick these up with this tractor, if I hook on just one side, man, it'll twist that boom around and make the tractor want to flip over. So I always have to be able to wrap. You can see. I always have to be able to wrap around the log and then hook chains to both hooks. You gotta hook on both sides of your bucket there. So yeah. All right, I did, <laughs> I did not expect it would go that well. I really didn't even think the tractor would pick up one end of the log, so that makes me happy. I don't know if you guys might have noticed when I raised up, first I raised the boom, and the boom will stop and not move, and then I have to curl the bucket, and the bucket curl is enough that I can get it to, to come on up even though the boom stalled out. But yeah, okay, got that big sucker off. That's good, I thought I was gonna fight with that a lot more. We'll uh, leave her dry here on the ground for, I don't know, couple of months anyway just try to get some of the weight out of it some of the sap and uh, then it'll go on the mill and become siding that's it for now